Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Christine. We like to have a good time over here. I am back. Wow. <laughs> I know I keep saying I'll be posting consistently, but I will get there. I am finally going to have hopefully a good day and a half to two full days to film again. So I'm getting I'm getting back in my groove, okay? <laughs> now today's video is going to be a lot of fun because I'm trying a bunch of Laura Mercier products. They were super freaking sweet. Sent a cute little note. You can't see it, but it's sitting up there. And they sent me a few products to try out. Of course, now the loose powder is an absolute favorite of mine. This little highlight is an absolute favorite of mine. If you, now, if you follow me for a while, you know how much I love Laura Mercier, and I am just so grateful that they even sent me products or have even seen my stuff. So I just want to say thank you guys so freaking much one for ten thousand two for all the support and all the love and just in general because things like that would not be happening to me without you guys so i just want to say thank you times a million and i do have a 10k giveaway sitting right over there i'm not going to post it yet maybe the next video because i want to accumulate a little like you know a little bit more <laughs> so make sure you keep a lookout for that but if you like to see how i got this soft glam look then just please keep watching Alright guys, so getting started, we are of course going to be playing with a lot of Laura Mercier products today because they sent over such a beautiful package and I just really want to play with everything. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today. Now I don't have everything from them. I don't have like a foundation concealer and all that kind of stuff, but I'm going to use all the ones that they sent pretty much. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Don't mind my hair right now. I'm trying not to like put it up as much. So it's just like, you know, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. So I'm going to start off with the foundation primer and it's literally just a lightweight water-based vitamin rich gel that creates the perfect canvas for makeup application. So it just says smooth on foundation primer by gently massaging over skin surface. Can be applied over moisturizer or onto clean skin before tinted moisturizer, foundation, or concealer. That's what we're going to do. Oh, it's pink. <laughs> Ooh, it kind of smells like sunscreen. And it really feels like a moisturizer. Like it's super like soft. And it does feel a little tacky. Now I didn't do anything for my pores, so I am gonna go in with a little bit of the Tatcha Soap Canvas Primer just on my T-zone. Ugh, I hate stray hairs. Can I just say how much I have missed filming though? I haven't sat down to film in forever again. Work changed for another time. Do I have my mic on? Ooh. Anyways, I haven't been able to like sit down and film again for a while and I'm just ready to sit down and play. I wanna film like three or four videos today if I can. We'll see how many I can get done, but I'm also off for the most of the day tomorrow. So I'm like, no time. <laughs> so for foundation, I'm gonna mix the Revolution um, Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I accidentally picked up the shade F2 instead of F3. This one's a little too yellow for me, but I'm like scraping the bottom of this one, so we'll see. And of course, I'm just going to use my Makeup Shack sponge, my favorite thing of life. I don't think I've done my foundation on camera in forever. <laughs> I think I've just been doing looks. The only thing I've really been doing different is making sure I'm really pressing the foundation of my skin. Because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like there's a difference of when I make sure that I'm really getting it in there that it stays a little longer. Maybe it's in my head, I don't know. <laughs> and then of course for concealer, I'm going to use Tarte Shape Tape. I'm in the shade Fair Beige. And I've also been doing a little less concealer. 
Now, when I say a little less, like a little less for me, I used to pack this on like crazy, but instead I just apply it a little bit and then I'll go back and I'll just kind of spread it. So I'm not adding any more product. Well, I am a little bit, what's left on the dough foot, but I'm not like taking it on. And of course for powder, I'm going to go into the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. This is like my favorite powder of life. I've been using it for so long. It just does a beautiful job at smoothing out your skin. And I don't know, it just looks so beautiful. Now I will say, if you do have really dry skin, you may not love this. Because I feel like it is a little bit more on the dry side, but I enjoy it because I have combo combination oily skin. Now one thing I really like to do is apply a little bit of extra right around my nose because that's where I tend to crease and get gross throughout the day. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of extra powder and then I'll go back later and kind of brush it away. And I always take a big fluffy brush and this is what I'm going to do to just kind of make sure I didn't miss any spots. Now they also sent the big puff. Now I'm not big on using a puff because I love using like a damp sponge on mine just feel like it looks better. But I do want to try this later when I'm fixing like my powder and everything. We'll see. I just got this in the mail but it's from Drunk Elephant. It's the Lippy Balm. Oh my gosh, it feels incredible. Now I'm going to take my Silhouette Contour Palette from The Makeup Shack. I've actually been contouring a lot less lately, like I'm not doing it nearly as harsh as I used to. Like I just do a really soft kind of contour. I'm not going for anything dramatic in this look, I'm really just kind of doing my everyday routine but trying a few new products. Then of course for bronzer, I'm going to use my Benefit Hula. I'm still trying to use up this many, but I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> and I'm going to use the Makeup Shack T7 brush. And I want to be a little extra bronzy today because I'm wearing yellow. <laughs> and I don't want it to like wash me out. So I'm going to go a little extra. So now on to blush, I actually have two here. I have peach and I have chai. Now peach is absolutely beautiful. I think this is gonna be gorgeous during the summer and I'm so excited. And then chai is like a muted mauve and it's gorgeous as well. But I think I'm gonna do the peach today. Yes. I'm just gonna use an E4. From Morphe. Now, I don't know how pigmented. Ooh, okay. Oh, it's kind of glowy. Ooh, that's beautiful. I 
I have been really into blush lately, but I can always get carried away. <laughs> so I'm just going to use a large stipple brush and blend that out. That's gorgeous. And that blended out so easy. I'm going to go ahead and spray my face before I do the highlight. So this has been one of my favorite go-to products for a while now. Ever since I did like the makeup for that bridal shoot at work, I have fell in love with this. So this is actually the Matte Radiance Baked Powder Highlight Number 1. It is so freaking beautiful. This obviously, okay. <laughs> this obviously isn't full size, but it doesn't, like, I don't know. It's just, it doesn't emphasize your texture or your pores. And it's just a beautiful, like, luminous looking glow without being like a highlight or like a streak on your face. I'll show you. I'll just show you. <laughs> now what I like to do with this is take a large fluffy brush. This is a T10 from the Makeup Shack. This is the most gorgeous powder brush if you're wanting to do like an all over like glowy highlight. It's gorgeous. Like, see how gorgeous that glow is? And I love to put this like all over. So I'll put it right above my brow. And I'll do like a little C shape right here, but I love to get like my entire cheek. Just because it doesn't emphasize, like I said, any texture or pores. You can definitely tell a huge difference from this side of my face to this side. It just has some beautiful like light and life to it. I don't know. I just think it's gorgeous without emphasizing my texture or pores. It's just like, yes. And with summer coming up, I'm even more excited because that means loving tan time. And this is just going to be absolutely beautiful. Do you see the difference? Oh, so I got really cut off by my camera, but that's just like my all over favorite glow product right now where it's just like it's just beautiful, you know, and light catches it perfectly, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the puff because <laughs> I will have to use it somehow. It's just, it's too cute not to. So I'm going to go in with the puff and I'm going to grab some more of the powder and I'm just going to use this to clean up my cheeks. Hey, that works pretty good. Now I'm not gonna let it sit there. I just wanted to carve it out and then blend it away. I think I got sidetracked. <laughs> but I got rudely interrupted by my camera and that is just like, my overall base, like, beautiful glow, and I love it so freaking much, but they also sent over their Indiscretion highlight, and I have to say, oh my gosh, this looks like liquid rose gold to me. I just think it looks gorgeous, and I want to try to put a little bit on my, like, the tops of my cheekbone. Now, I know it's going to be a little dark on me probably, but I need to see it. I just got to see it. Ooh. Okay. Okay, I'm getting carried away. I'm getting carried away. <laughs> well, that is stunning. Ooh, okay. I'm excited. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I just kind of did like a natural kind of feathery brow today, and I'm kind of feeling it. But now I'm going to go into the Jouer Essential Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette. It's just this one right here. It's honestly just like the perfect palette for something super easy and just kind of blown out like I want to do today. So we're going to go ahead and... So I'm going to start with Desert. I'm not going to do anything too fancy today. I'm literally just going to do like my everyday kind of like brown, blown out mess <laughs> and this is an M441 from Morphe so we're just going to start on the outer corner and then kind of bring it in
And now I'm going to go into Dark Chocolate. And I'm going to use a little T33 from the Makeup Shack. And I'm just going to put this on the outer corner. And then take it into the crease. So I'm going to take the caviar stick, this one is in Sugar Frost, I'm going to put this all over the lid. Now I'm going to go back into the Indiscretion Highlight. I'm just going to use this on the inner corner. And then the matte highlight on the brow bone. So now that both eyes are done, I'm just going to apply some mascara. Of course, my favorite is Roller Lash from Benefit. So of course you can leave it with just mascara like it is right now, but you know I'm a little bit extra. So I'm going to apply my Dubai Lashes. I actually need to go in with the Captivating Lashes from Flutter because they're a little less dramatic and like, <laughs> as the Dubai's are for this look. Alright guys, so lashes are on. Now for the lip. I'm really excited. So I'm actually going to be mixing these two. So I have the Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick in Vibe. And then I have the Rouge Essential Lipstick in Nude Natural. So this one is like super pink and this one is more, I don't know, more nudey. So I'm going to start with this one. Alright guys, that is the completed look. I have to say I am obsessed with the way that this lipstick feels. Because it's a matte, but it doesn't feel like anything on the lips. Like it's not drying. I barely feel like I even have a lipstick on. But it's like, it's beautiful. <laughs> and the blush, you guys, this is peach and I am absolutely obsessed. It is so beautiful. I hope the camera's not like washing it out because it's just, in person, it's the most gorgeous just flush to the cheeks without looking like too blushy, if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain it. It's just gorgeous. I love that formula. I'm excited to see how this primer works with my skin. I don't, I didn't see a huge difference, of course. It's not like a pore filling primer or a minimizer or anything like that, but it did feel really good on the skin and it did have a good tackiness to it. So I'm really excited to see if it helps like the longevity of my makeup because it did feel incredible going on my skin. And I just got to shout out my little baby right here. I need to get the full size of this because I've been using it nonstop and my little dome is getting flat and I'm like, oh, that makes me so sad. But this is just the most gorgeous glow. I did add a tiny bit of this one, the Indiscretion Highlight, that literally looks like, I don't know, like molten rose gold. It, like It's gorgeous. But this one right here just has my heart. It is so beautiful. It's a gorgeous glow within but like still a highlight at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. I just, I'm obsessed with it. The formula of this is incredible and I need to pick up the full size like right now. I just wanted to sit down and play with makeup again and just play with all the stuff that just came in the mail. So thank you again to Laura Mercier and thank you to you guys so freaking much for again, 10,000. I have a little giveaway over here kind of piling up. So I'll be posting that soon. So keep a lookout for that. But just thank you so freaking much for all the love. Even though I haven't been posting consistently, I will get back in my groove. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just getting there. So I just wanted to say thank you so freaking much. I love you guys so much. And so, yeah, just thank you, thank you, thank you times a million. And that's going to be the end of this video, you guys. I really hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you give a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It does help me out so much. 
Of course, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this look. Do you have any of these products? Do you love Laura Mercier? Let me know. Make sure you subscribe before you leave and hit the little bell notification too so you miss the uploads from me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.